my question is have you ever had a decision where you thought you may brought the hammer down a little too hard but you ran into that particular person or seen that situation manifest in a positive way and you were able to say I did the right thing I'd like to think that I don't hammer too hard I just do what's appropriate and what the consequence calls for and I, I've definitely had some parents just stomp out the room like you were so hard on my kid and I'm like but if I don't do this six months to a year now the next time he or she faces this offense he'll be looking at more like three to eight which one you want me to do mm -hmm. Recent as hard or as difficult, mm -hmm. I've had two very encouraging moments. Mm -hmm. A young man who wrote me a letter telling me about his experience at DYS and thanking me for sending him and uh, what he's learned from that and how he's grown. And with that letter came a personal hand-drawn invitation to his graduation at DYS. And I went to DYS for his graduation and everyone talked about how he was a really good-hearted kid, but he understood why I had to send him there because mm -hmm. there are just some debts to society that you have to pay. Mm -hmm. and there are some debts that you have to pay in full. Mm -hmm. And maybe that's some of the harder things. You know what's good about that is that, how you put that, recognizing that you know you have to do that and taking the responsibility of it, even to the point of saying, okay, part of this fixing who I am is to reach back to the person who might have, who I thought I might have been in here the first month or year or so. I don't know how long he was there. Mad as hell that you put me here. But at some point or another, it clicked that this is working betterment of what I want to do. You know what I mean? And, mm -hmm. and I think that's awesome. That's when you know it, it's working. And to go the extra yard to, like you say, handwrite me an invitation to even come so, so that I can show you that what you've done to me has helped me is even more better. So that's, that's real nice. That's a consequence that my parents gave me. It's a consequence that I gave my own children. That's probably a compliment. That's a good compliment. Yeah, I would put that up there. That's a really good one. He, he didn't give you a compliment and saying, hey, you're great, but he did. And then I think the other thing was I bound over a kid. Eventually his case went all the way up to the Supreme Court. And they acknowledged some of the things that I did and was done against this kid. Ultimately, it didn't change his sentencing, but he was released. Mm. I was so happy to hear how he got married. Okay. And how he's working three jobs. Mm -hmm. mm. And how he needed a new car. Mm -hmm. And he couldn't get this new car. And he realized, oh, it's my credit score. And he began to work on his credit score, mm -hmm. and he finally got that new car. And my point of all it, and he was saying to my bailiff, but I want to reach out to my counselor. I, I want to talk to her about something. I'm okay, but every once in a while, you just need to talk to somebody. Because I just, because because when this didn't happen, or my dad didn't do this, or that, or the other thing, I just... And Greg had to say to him, you just don't know how many people for your journey that you impacted. Mm -hmm. You made your father look at parenting totally different. You made your brothers look at the choices that can mm -hmm. or would be made in their lives mm -hmm. totally different. You changed the law in the state of Ohio and how we have to treat 
transfer kids in this county. And in the end, you found a wife and a home and you have a family. Mm. And I say all of that to say that, and I think I told Luis the same thing, DYS, incarceration, it's a journey. It's not a destination. Mm. I was so glad that life brought him Mm -hmm. love and family Mm -hmm. and a second chance based on his choices Mm -hmm. and what he chose to do about his life on his journey.